So I will explain to you the general uh, functioning of the subtle energy system. We are in the subtle energy system made of seven chakras, which are seven energy centers placed along the spine. And they have their resonance on the left side of our body and on the right side of our body and in the central channel. These three represent the three channels of the subtle energy system. The left side of the body represents more of our emotional side. The right side of the body represents more of the rational side. And the center uh, of our body, the central channel, represents more the evolution. The left side is the feminine aspect of us. The right side is the masculine aspect of us. And the center is the perfect balance between the two. The left side represents the past. The right side represents the future. And the central channel represents the here and now, the present moment. Now the Kundalini energy, which is lying dormant at the, in the sacrum bone at the bottom of our spine, works on the central channel, bringing us in the here and now and rebalancing us, taking away the extremes of the left and of the right side, taking them away, bringing us back into balance. Now, in this meditation, in this knowledge of the chakras, uh, we are explained that um, we function always, most of the time, between left and right, the right side of our body is the side of action, the side of dynamism, the side of the future. It is very good, it's useful for us to act in this world, but we tend to sometimes go too far in our actions. We tend to, over, to be overworked, go into overactivity, which brings us to the extreme. This can be paralleled to what they call the fight or flight state, um, according to the polyvagal theory. There's a way to balance ourselves out of the extreme of the right, to become, again, dynamic or to be just more centered. Same thing can happen on the left side. It's our emotions, it's our intuition. However, when we tend to either go too much on the right side, sometimes we burn ourselves out and we fall on the left side. When we tend to be too lethargic or we do not deal with what is, is um, causing us anxiety, we can fall into depression. When we go too far, it can be compared to what they call the dorsal vagal state in the polyvagal theory. So it's, they have their similarities. To go too much on the left side, we become lethargic, depressive, we are stuck in the past. And Dorsal Vagal talks about a shutdown. This is what happens. So the central nervous system is where we want to pay attention to throughout this whole series of meditation. But the best way to do that is to offload the left, offload the right and bring ourselves back into balance. I'll show you this in the next video.